Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at the DC Universe Classics Maddie Collector Exclusive Damian Wayne Robin figure. Damian Wayne's a figure that people have been asking for for a long time, and now we finally got one. And I have to say, I am fairly well pleased with this figure. There's really only one major complaint I have, and we'll get to that in a minute. But let's go ahead and do the standard rundown of the figure. He stands at about five and a half, five and five eighths inches tall. So one complaint that many people are going to have is that, and this is kind of too, is that he's too muscular and too tall. He's supposed to be a fairly young kid. And while I agree, you know, they're not going to make an entirely new mold for one figure. The heck, they can't make entirely new molds for just about any figures these days. So I'm going to let that slide. It doesn't bother me that much. He's still smaller and thinner than your average figure. So I think that's something we can let slide. The fact that they actually went with the gray instead of black for the arms and legs, I'm really happy with that. I thought for sure they were just going to go black. Uh, I don't know why, I just had that feeling, and they didn't. So that's awesome. We have the nice red torso, a little bit of shading in there. Uh, the paint could be better around the belt, but the belt is painted with the gold and the gray. We have the gloves painted green. We have the boots painted green with the red straps or laces, which I was not expecting, so that's really awesome. They painted the soles. The boots are sculpted, a whole new sculpt for that. They even sculpted the bottom, which I don't know about you guys, but I don't I can't think of any other DCUC standard release figure. I mean not like a build a figure. Uh, that had sculpted feet, and even the build figures I think only maybe the robots did. So, this is pretty impressive. I'm, I'm really pleased that they put a little bit of effort into this guy. The gloves are sculpted well enough. These aren't too flimsy or anything like that. And then the little cape. They put some really nice detail in the cape. It doesn't have that real plasticky sculpt to it. It has a little extra wave in it, and I like that. Then they sculpted the black hood on here. It's painted, but they did a really good job painting, and I thought for sure if they were going to do that, that it was just going to be a real sloppy slap some paint on there, but they didn't. It actually looks pretty good. So again, I'm, I'm really happy with this figure so far. The Robin emblem on his chest, really well done. It's a kind of a metallic-y gold with the black on there. No real issues. And here's the thing that I take issue with the most is the head. I know he's got kind of like a poop face anyway, but this head is just, that's not the shape people's faces are, or their heads. He's got like a Jay Leno jaw and a giant forehead and his nose is pushed in. I don't know, it just, it looks really, really weird to me. The hair is done well. I like the hair. The sculpt is good. The paint job is good. But that face is just super potato face. I don't know if that's a thing, but if it's not, it is now. He's got a potato face. It's really just not it doesn't look right at all. I don't know what they were going for, if it's messed up in the molding process or what, but that face is fugly. It's janky, if you want to go with that term. That's what it is. And the articulation's not there for the head. It's just a swivel, and mine's pretty stuck. And you can see the way his jaw is sculpted, it keeps his head looking up, and it's going to get in the way of posing it too much. So, not the best. The head, get rid of that, put a new head on it, maybe. You have a pretty decent figure. Standard ball hinge, shoulder, bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, wrist swivel at the wrist, not in the glove area, which would have been hidden a little bit better, but it's not bad at all there. We have the gripping hand on both sides so that he can hold his red battering with the handle on it. Ab crunch works just fine. Mine came with these stress marks on it, like somebody went like this and just forced it, which is kind of disappointing. I definitely didn't do that. It was like that right out of the package. But luckily it's not super obvious. We have a waist twist here and the skirt part of his shirt and belt. It's technically a soft plastic. It's a little stiff, but it can swivel independently so you can rotate it around on the hips. It's just going to take a little work. And you can still move the standard DCU hips fairly well. Not a huge amount, but they shouldn't really be too hindered by that skirt. Not enough to worry about really. We have a thigh swivel, standard knee hinge, but pretty good amount of posability there. And then we have the standard ankle hinge. No ankle rocker, unfortunately, but I think we can live with that in the DCUC line. Uh, surprisingly enough, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this figure. Uh, if it wasn't for the head, I'd be really pleased. I was not expecting to have any more stuff come from Mattel that I was happy with, but they did a pretty good job with this guy, so I have to say I recommend it, especially if you're a Batman fan, and even if you're just a DCUC fan, this is one you should try to track down. It's pretty good, and it's a nice shelf piece with the nice character composition of the grays and blacks and yellows and reds and greens and all of those nice colors. So I do recommend it, guys. Um, 
I guess I'll probably post a couple photos here at the end since you guys seem to like that. So stay tuned for that and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.